Welcome to the Warframe Open Encyclopedia, where today we're checking out the Boltor. There are two ways in which you can get the blueprint for the Boltor. The first one is via the market and the second one is by completing the Venus to Mercury junction. And the weapon is very cheap, so you should have no trouble building it whatsoever. The Boltor is a fully automatic Mastery Rank 2 primary rifle that does almost pure puncture damage with just a little bit of impact and slash on the side with fairly low crit, mediocre status and somewhat long reload. The accuracy on the Boltor is pretty good, but it's not pinpoint accurate, so you should stick to medium range, I wouldn't really engage at long ranges, and the bolts also have travel time, so you will have to lead your target. Since the Boltor only requires Mastery Rank 2, you're probably not gonna have a lot of mods to put on it, so you're gonna start off with something like this, where you have Serration for damage, Split Chamber for multi-shot, then some damage with 90% elementals, optionally you can put on Rifle Aptitude for some status, and Fast Hands to fix the reload. This is gonna be kind of like your Star Chart setup, and it's more than good enough to carry you through the entire Star Chart, and no problem. And it's also where most people are going to stop with the Boltor, but once again, I am not most people. So even though it doesn't make an awful lot of sense, because by the time you get access to these mods, you will also have access to better versions of the Boltor, you can run something like this if you want a little bit more performance out of the Boltor. And it truly is just a little bit more performance. It's not gonna scale the weapon up into sorties, but it is gonna push it up to sort of high-end fissure level. So around level 50-ish is where the beefier enemies will become a little bit too beefy for the old Boltor. I have some really fun memories of the Boltor, which I think make me look more favorably at the Boltor than I should, because back in my day, you damn whippersnappers, this used to be the gun. It used to do a ton of damage and it ignored armor back when that was a thing, so it was really, really good. And I think it still is good for Mastery Rank 2. It's actually a very solid rifle for that Mastery Rank. So if you're a newer player, I would absolutely recommend you build it once you finish the Venus to Mercury Junction. Because it's a fun gun that does good damage, it sounds cool, and it can pin enemies to walls. Plus, it will also let you know whether or not you like the Boltor series of guns, so you can eventually, once you rank up a little bit, get either the Talos Boltor or the Boltor Prime. Which are basically better in every way imaginable. So yes, if you're a newer player, you should absolutely get the Boltor. If you're a more established player, there's not really a reason to get it outside of the mastery. And that is pretty much it, so I thank you very much for watching. As always guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and it was helpful, and I will see you next time. Bye bye!